All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry the Chupacabra, and we're back for another game recording tutorial. This time we're going to be talking about a free game recorder that comes complete with your Windows 10 installation that is, well, it's free, and it's not the most feature-rich program that you've ever used, but in a pinch, if you're not really sure how to set up um, a piece of software, or you'd really just like to record a cool moment and you don't really need your voice, then the Windows 10 Game Bar is what you will want to use because, well, it either works or it doesn't. And it's sort of, it's kind of tied into the Xbox One, Xbox Live experience. So if you click the little button on your Xbox controller when it's plugged into your PC or hit the Windows key plus G, you'll bring up this handy dandy bar right here as I whip around. And this is the Windows Experience recording bar that allows you to record gameplay, take screenshots, and also use a DVR feature, which is constantly recording the last 30 seconds of gameplay that you can hit a Windows button plus Alt plus G in order to save that last 30 seconds in case you got like a really sick headshot and you'd like to clip that into your latest montage video. So, let me bring that back up. There's not a lot of settings to be said for this, too, like I was saying before. You can enable the record games in the background, and you can record while on battery if you're on a laptop like I am, or record using a wireless display, and then you've got your clips. I would set my clips to about 30 minutes to an hour, you don't really want to record super long videos because, well, that's a lot of stuff to trim out. It's better to sort of think about what you're going to record ahead of time. And then down here, you've got the options to use the game controller to turn on this bar and remember this game as a game that is usually recorded. Over here, you can set up your shortcuts or find out what the default shortcuts are. And they all, re they all require... Um, the Windows key. So if you if you want to use all of these, you'll you'll need to use the Windows key. Now, while that's kind of fun and all, one of the issues I did encounter while trying to use a lot of these key bindings is even using them correctly, half the time you'll have like a delayed um response from the button and it'll try to take you to the desktop. And then the last sort of fu function that you can control in here is recording your game audio. And it starts at a low bitrate of 96 kilobytes, and you usually want like 320 kilobytes per second for like YouTube and stuff. So the highest you can go in here is 192, which isn't entirely unusual. Um, depending on the system, you can only go that high in OBS and other recorders, so that's not unusual. It can just be a little bit annoying. And then you can set it up to record your microphone while you record your game clips. And this will use whatever microphone you set up as your system's default. You can't really hot swap between microphones from inside the settings here. And then you can show your microphone recording notifications when it's recording in case you want to hit Windows Alt M in order to disable your microphone because for whatever reason, you know, maybe you're screaming at your dog or something. You don't want people to hear that. You can change that on the fly. Now, let me close that up and let's do like a little demo recording. So this works pretty good. You can either hit Windows Alt R to start a recording or just press this button. And I'll move this over here. And then I can run around inside of the game. I'm playing Dead Effect 2 right now. That's why you've got this cool Prometheus style holographic map here. And all these people, including this lady who doesn't wear a bra. And uh, where is where is uh, Meat Fist McHoolahan? This is Minikin. He's like a giant murder gorilla, and he is dumb as a stump. But somehow he also knows advanced engineering. And this is Dr. Mangala. He'll cut you open and put robots inside you. Swell guy, that uh, Dr. Mangala. I guess his, his name is Belik? Belik? I don't know. We're just going to run around, do a little preview video to see how it performs. I'm not really getting any performance drops, and I'm also recording this recording while it's recording with a game capture card. So, if you're, I was gonna see any performance drops, that would be when that would happen. But this is actually working pretty well, and I've got this set to high quality. So we will just hit 
Windows Alt R to turn off the recording. And that has been saved to my my sort of like Windows video section under captures. And if for whatever reason we wanted more controls over our settings, it would load up into the Xbox experience here. And this is what lets you control your Xbox Live account from your PC. And this is where we'd get into some slightly more advanced stuff. We could set up background recording. Like I was saying, this is that DVR that can record up to 10 minutes of gameplay in the background, depending on how good your system is. And you can click to save that footage at any time if something cool has happened in the last 10 minutes. And all the, the settings that go with that. You can set your game clip durations. Again, I don't really see any need to go beyond an hour because if you're going beyond an hour, you're just increasing the stuff you have to edit later, so I wouldn't necessarily recommend that. Um, I want my audio as high as it'll go. I want to be able to record my microphone, but what I really am after is down here at the bottom of the screen where I can control my video quality. It starts on standard, and it notes to the player that if you put it on high, that it may affect your gaming performance, but if you want that beautiful gameplay quality as much as you can out of this, then you probably want to set this to high. And then that's about all you can really uh, um, control in here. There's not a lot of fancy setup, there's no webcam controls, you can't really record a webcam with this. It does okay, but it's not exactly earth-shattering, you know? So let's see here, let's go to the folder where these are saved. Here's my dead effect video. Let's have a look, see at what this is like. So is this 60 frames per second? I think it might be. It's pretty smooth. Yeah, that's not bad. There is a couple, I saw a V tear there, a vertical sync tear. But aside from that one V sync tear, when we were running around here and a couple of the different bugs visually from dead effect itself, this actually looks pretty darn good, and I'm sure it looks pretty darn good still. Yeah, I'm looking at it on the capture card screen, too. This is still looking pretty, pretty good and tasty. So yeah, this isn't a terrible option if you need a free built-in recorder here. And it's actually told me that I don't have a microphone plugged in right now, which is good of it. It'll actually give you warnings. But yeah, you can take screenshots. You can take all sorts of stuff, you've got the DVR turned on, and you can move this around so it's not in your way while you're recording. So again, this is not a feature-rich um, setting by any means, but if it, if it pops up in your game, it will be able to record your game, and if not, it'll tell you in your system settings, because Windows knows how good your computer is, whether or not some functions are not available for your system. So yeah, that's been uh, it for this one, ladies and gentlemen. I've been your host, Larry the Chupacabra, for another Chupacabra tutorial dealing with game recording software, the free one that comes with Windows 10, um, previewed using Dead Effect, which is coming out, I think, a little bit later this month. So if you have any questions for me, I mean, this is some pretty straightforward software, but if anything was confusing that I went over, let me know about your questions in the comments below. And I will catch you guys and gals next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Toodles, everybody.